Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a date using JavaScript. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we are going to be making a function. So we're going to do function is valid date and date string. So this function is going to return a true or a false. True for being valid, false for being invalid. The name is going to be is valid date, and we're going to take in one parameter, which is the string containing the date we want to validate. Next, we have got four lines of code, and you might want to change what we do here depending on which date you want to format. In this tutorial, I'll be covering the UK date format, but you could change this to be USA or something else. So basically, we've got var date parts equals date string dot split, then by this delimiter. So in the UK, we're going to be doing day slash month slash year. So we're going to be using a slash to separate each part of the date, being the day, the month, and the year. So we're going to be creating this little array, and it's going to basically have an element for each section of the date. You could put a dash if you want to in front of everything. If so, you would change this to the minus sign, I believe. And then what we can do is we can do var day equals parse int date part zero, var month equals parse int date parts one, and var year equals parse int date parts two. And you can customize this. Like if you're in the USA, you would probably put, I believe, month, then day, then year. So month would be equal to the zero, day would be one, and year would be two. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a date object. So we do var date equals new date, year, month, minus one, and day. So this is the constructor method for our date object, and for this simple tutorial, we're only going to pass in the year, the month, and the day. This is not going to be in the order, by the way, that you want them to be in. This is where we worry about the order. Here, we just put these into the function. So regardless of, whatever, of what format you're doing, it always is year, month, then day, when you're making your date object. Here is where we worry about where each thing is in the date string because in this date object they're just stored in variables and therefore the order doesn't matter anymore what matters is telling this date object which part of the date string is which also you might be thinking max why is it month minus one well in the, the javascript date object for some reason the month starts on zero and goes to 11. so basically if we had january january would be equal to zero in the eyes of this date object. So basically it's like, if we do minus one, then it's all fine. After that, we have got a return statement. We're going to do return year triple equals year, and month triple equals month, minus one, and date equals day. This is going to be us doing our validation here. So basically, we're going to be checking if the year is equal to what we inputted. We're also going to be checking if the month is equal to what we inputted minus one because of the whole month start from zero in this object type thing. And then we do the same for the actual day. And all of these need to be equal to their original value, otherwise it's false. So above our function, we're going to do a bunch of console log statements. And basically, we're going to be validating different test inputs, including cake. So what we do is uh, we're going to be doing console.log is valid state to pass in a string representing our date. And that will print out if it's true or false. You can call the function wherever you want, but I'm going to be doing it in a console log to keep it simple. I am going to be calling a function called keep console open at the end. I am also going to be adding the function at the bottom of my code here so we can call it after we've printed out all our outputs. This function just keeps the console open if you're on Node.js. You don't need this, but there's an eye open for corner explaining it, and the code will be in the description below so you can copy and paste it if you're following along with the tutorial. With all that, let's hit play. So, let's compare what our inputs to our outputs. So, the 20th of February 2024 is a valid state. The 29th of February 2022 is invalid though, and this is significant because this means our date object is able to detect leap years, which is really handy. And we can further test this by looking at the 29th of February 2024, which is a leap year, and it's become valid. We then tried the 30th of February, which is invalid. We then tried the 15th of March, and then the 31st of December. We then tried the 31st of September, 
which only has 30 days, and obviously that's false. And cake is also false for reasons I probably don't need to go into. So anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed, and leave a comment if you've got a request. Thanks for being a great audience.